What's your name? I'm May. I'm May. Can you... And where's your dad? What does your dad do? Um, he's up on the wall. <laughs> up on the wall, huh? Hi, welcome. Uh, my name is Chris Duncan. And this is my house. It's a picture of my mom. And that's a painting by my friend Ryan Wallace from New York. That's my grandpa, Bernie, who's a piano player way back. That's Jasper. What's up, dog? Um, I guess I've been doing a bunch of different projects over the years, and the, one of the last things I did was um, I put out a record for my friends Kyle and Kim. Uh, they're a band called Pale Horse, and I did the art for them. I made an edition of 115 of the vinyl version of their record. There's about five different color covers um, with the same transparent ink used on all of them, but the, um, the ink related to the different colors differently. So the blue made purple, the yellow made orange, the pink made a richer pink. Um, I was just kind of inspired by a lot of Joseph Albers color experiments. Um, I think that guy's just pretty amazing, and I have a lot of interest, like color is a big part of what informs my work. CNN about a 15 year old boy from South Carolina who was planning on uh, blowing up his school. His thought was then he would be judged by Jesus and then he was going to kill Jesus. And that just kind of blew my mind. I can't wrap my head around it, so I'm making a sculpture about it, I guess. <laughs> That's pretty much what's happening. <laughs> Another project that I've been doing with um, a good friend of mine, Griffin McPartland, since 2002 now, um, there's an art zine called Hot and Cold. We just wanted to do something together, um, and our aesthetics were super different, so the title kind of lent to there's these two, op two opposites coming together. So yeah, like, so we started at 10, and we're counting down, and number two was just released. We have a show at the luggage store up right now. Um, that's pretty rad, I think. I like, I like group, group efforts. I think they're important, and I like, I, I actually do believe in the word community. Um, I feel like in San Francisco that word gets thrown around a lot, and I don't know people really follow through with what that might mean. And, and I don't know, I think we really do. We really kind of believe in the people around us, and I think are inspired by them. It's taxing too, but it's really fun to um, get together and see what a group of folks can do. I have a daughter named Aya. We're gonna go check out her room. There's Aya. Hey, Aya, say hi. Can you open your door and let us in? You want to show? Let's 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 show your room. Let's show your room. <laughs> ah, that one. What is it a picture of? A chicken. <laughs> um, I basically kind of asked Aya what she likes, and this piece was actually was made when we found out, um, her mom and I found out we were having a child. That's the garden, see? There's a pet. She's a huge inspiration, an amazing little human. And um, having her, I feel like it's just opened me up to so much stuff that I think I forgot about. You know, like seeing life through her eyes now is really inspiring. And I think it's made me even more sensitive to stuff happening around me. I know you do. 
doing good. My time is substantially more limited now that I have a child, so um, I find that I do a lot more thinking and a lot more figuring out in my mind. Just put your feet down. I juggle it the best I can. We gotta figure that out. <laughs> hmm. Let's put my boots back and then I'll get back on the swing. I think we should go to the studio. No, Dad. What? I don't want to go to the studio yet. Not yet? No. Aya, do you want to go to the studio? What? <laughs> Can we go to the studio, please? Yeah? Yeah? Oh, rad. What, tea? What kind? It's peppermint. I love peppermint. It's delicious.